Hello, everybody, and welcome to Trending, a new show here on WeHo TV that takes a look around West Hollywood and highlights things that are, well, trending. I'm Tracy Savage, your host, and together we're going to find out more about the people, events, locations, shopping, parties, and the wonderful collection of trending subjects that makes West Hollywood a city like no other. 2013 is just getting started, and our local retailers are just finishing their year-end inventories. The area hotels are relaxing just a bit from the holiday rush, and businesses everywhere are getting ready for another new year. Today, we're going to talk more about some of the vibrant businesses and business opportunities that make West Hollywood such a great place to live and shop and dine and visit. Joining me now today on Trending to talk about a new year in business, a very familiar face here in West Hollywood, Jeff Huffer, the Manager of Economic Development for the City of West Hollywood. Hello, Jeff. Hello. Great to have you here. And also here today, Todd Stedman, Executive Director of the Sunset Strip Business Improvement District. And I want to thank you both for joining me here today. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, yeah. Jeff, I want to begin with you. You work for the City of West Hollywood, Manager of Economic Development. It's been a very tough, rough year, a tough, rough couple of, couple years, of years for businesses everywhere. Yet West Hollywood has always managed to sort of stay above the trend, survive, and maybe even thrive in these economic times. What's the secret? Well, I wish I could say there was some secret, but I think the best way to put it would be when a business comes to West Hollywood, they choose to come to West Hollywood because it is West Hollywood. We are not the adjacent areas around us. We have a brand, we are loyal to that brand identity, and businesses want to be a part of that. And I think as a result of that, they come in, they get acclimated to the community and become part of the community and realize that if one, one goes down, they kind of all start going down and we work together as a team, as a business community, with all the economic partners, whether it's the business improvement districts, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, our marketing bureau, uh, Visit West Hollywood, all organizations working together, come together to make sure that our businesses are successful and can do the best that they can to serve not only our tourists, but our residents as well. Well, I imagine um, you don't have to market West Hollywood that much because it has such an amazing Pick up a newspaper, read the online blogs. Yeah. We're out there everywhere. everywhere. I mean, good and bad, yeah. celebrity or not, yeah. It's, yeah. we are out there and um, it's, it's nice to have that identity and that brand. Well, you know, you, you, the retailers want to be here, but they also want to be happy. What do you do to keep them from leaving, to keep them from falling down into that hole? You know, one of the, the things that we, we don't have a lot of control on is the market rents in the city. And oftentimes, it's, if businesses are leaving, it's because rents are increasing. So putting that piece of it aside, what we can do is, for instance, when the economic downturn of 2007, 2008 started, we decided to be proactive and formed an economic hardship task force where we ask both businesses and residents to come together to work with us as a city to, for some things that the city council could consider to help bridge the gap from where we knew it was going and as we see things improving now. And we came up with such strategies as increased signage, um, increased number of special events, fee waivers during that time, all as a means to, number one, get customers in their store, provide greater visibility to, to them from a car driving by the street or the pedestrian walking by their, their business. And all of those things came together and we really survived as a result of some of the ideas that came out of that package and we're pleased to be able to work with the business community to provide that. Well, you want to keep the businesses happy, but the retailers have to be happy or those businesses won't thrive. What do you do to keep the retailers happy so that they will continue to spend here? Variety, I'm sure, is one thing. And we're not just talking stores. Right. So it, it, I think it's very important. Like when you think of the high quality of life that West Hollywood has, you think of the balance between the neighborhood livability and the commercial thoroughfares. And we are always mindful of that. And one of the things that we love is that variety. And for a resident to be able to come home, let's say they commute during the week, park their car in their driveway or in their parking spot, and be able to walk to Sunset 
or Robertson or Santa Monica Boulevard and be able to not only go to a grocery store, but to hit the bank, to get their hair cut. Those are all the amenities that a truly thriving city needs to be able to provide to its citizens, and West Hollywood does that in a stellar manner. All right, so it's 2013. Uh, we don't want to maintain, we want to grow. What are the plans for the city of West Hollywood to help local businesses and the economy grow? Yeah, I think that we always wanna look at what the next step is. And part of what I have on my work program this year in the Division of Economic Development is to do an economic prosperity study. And we wanna look at the varying districts in the city and find out where, what amenities, what services, what sectors are strong, um, where we provide services, and where we may need to go after an attraction program. Let's say it's called a leakage and gap analysis. So we go out and we say, oh, 50% of the people are leaving to get their dry cleaning done outside of the city. It's called a leakage. How do, how can, what can we do, what strategies can we put in place to keep that number, bring that lower number closer to zero so that we can do things like that. So we'll take a look at that sector by sector to try to really figure out what it is the residents need to provide that crucial um, mix of business and services to keep the economy going. Excellent, very, very proactive. Well, Jeff, you mentioned avenues, you mentioned the strip that takes us to Todd Stedman, executive director of the Sunset Bi Strip Business Improvement District. What is your organization exactly? You only have to drive the strip to know that you're busy. <laughs> yeah. We uh, oversee the business improvement district on the Sunset Strip, which technically starts from the border of Beverly Hills and goes to the, the Chateau Marmont, 1.6 miles in West Hollywood. And essentially we do security, we do maintenance, we do outreach, and we do marketing security. We contract out with a company called Block by Block where they provide up to 10 personnel that work closely with the Sheriff's Depart Department, provide an extra layer of safety on the boulevard and in the neighborhoods. And then maintenance, we contract out with a company called Social Vocational Services where they provide individuals that pick up all the loose trash on and near the strip to provide a clean environment. And we do outreach, we work with the businesses and the residents, try to address their concerns and issues. And then marketing is an area that we've grown tremendously over the last few years. Our big marketing push, our big event is our Sunset Strip Music Festival, which has occurred each August for the last five years. And we- I remember when it started and it's been very successful, has it not? It has, yeah. it has. It's, it's received not only national attention, but international uh, uh, attention and in fact this past year we were named one of the top uh, music festivals by Rolling Stone magazine wow. which is pretty amazing. So you've done a lot of amazing work to make it a, a safe friendly environment that's what people want people won't go there if they don't feel comfortable and safe what are we going to do for 2013 what are the plans you have to uh, keep moving things ahead? Well I think it's it's yeah crucial to remain as a, a safe environment for people to to visit, to stay, to shop. And I think we do that. And we work very closely with the Sheriff's Department, with the residents, with the businesses, and obviously our team too. And uh, we have many other programs and activities that we've been working on, that we have been doing, including our Sunset Strip Market, uh, which is a farmer's market, mm -hmm. which uh, builds community and uh, furthers economic development. And it's each Thursday from five to nine. Yeah over at the city parking lot, and the, the residents and the businesses love it. You know, the Strip has such a history. It, everybody knows the Sunset Strip. So how important is it to honor its heritage? I think it's very important. Yeah. I mean, you look at all the bands that either got their start or jump start on the Strip from Buffalo Springfield to The Doors, Guns N' Roses, and many other bands, and it's important to honor the history and recognize the history, but remain current and relevant too. Well, so the new year getting underway, we've had a bad couple of years, not so much in West Hollywood, but the nation. Are you both feeling optimistic about 2013? Todd, why don't you start? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm feeling very optimistic about it. There's a lot of activity on the Strip, and I'm just speaking specifically you know, on the boulevard there. Um, there's two new uh, concepts that are being, uh, that are uh, uh, restaurant concepts that will be opening up at 9201 Sunset Boulevard, an Italian concept and an Asian concept, uh, which is right across the street from BOA. It's uh, the Innovative Dining Group, which we're really excited about. Uh, Osteria uh, Drago just opened up a restaurant where Au Soleil used to be. So in Pink Taco in the last six months. You have to months. keep evolving and changing. Absolutely. Yeah. So there's the, the, the great thing is, is there's 
the uh, there's many new businesses that are moving in and filling in those gaps, that's, which is great. That's fabulous. And Jeff, how about you? You know, I think to continue to add to the vibrancy that is West Hollywood. And one of the ways to do that is through arts and cultural programming as well. And uh, we want to do that this year. We want to make sure that the new library that's been up for 18 months now or so is used as um, special event space, is used as performance space, yeah. that we get the residents out um, to come to those shows, that they, before the show, they decide to have a drink at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. After the show, they continue, they stay in the district and they have dinner and the, um, the additional spending of that um, can only benefit our businesses. Um, continue to add to our infrastructure, continue to look at ways to um, redesign our parks and our public mm -hmm. buildings that invite public gatherings um, so that we can continue to bring people into the city, both residents and those from outside the city, and make it welcoming and have them here, enjoy our restaurants, spend their mo money, <laughs> yeah. obviously, yeah. walk our streets, Perfect. and just become a fabric um, of this community as well. Excellent, excellent. Jeff Huffer, Todd Stedman, both thank you very much for joining me today on Trending. And now on Trending, as we continue our look at the new year in business here in West Hollywood, Amber J is out on location with Genevieve Morrill from the West Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Amber. Thanks, Tracy. I'm here with Genevieve Morrill, the president and CEO of the West Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Genevieve, you just recently held the Creative City Awards. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, absolutely, Amber. The Creative City Awards is our uh, most prestigious gala of the year. It's a big fundraiser for the Chamber. It's in its 29th year. Uh, the Chamber is actually 100 years old. It was established in 1921, believe it or not. And this event um, uh, brings in all the different businesses and we celebrate their creativity and innovation in West Hollywood. So a few years ago we turned it over to the membership and had them vote for the winners and uh, nominate their peers. So 18 businesses were nominated. Um, out of those we had six winners in different categories. We also honored Zev Yurosofsky this year with the Thomas Crail Lifetime Achievement Award. How does the Chamber promote local businesses in the community? We promote through um, all the regular social media, website, that kind of thing. Um, but we also are creating some real niche marketing things that is real, very unusual for chambers to do. Um, so we're really focusing on different types of businesses and what they do and how we can market for them. Also, people are very time deprived now. So how can we pr make promotions uh, without businesses having to go to things to have to promote. Um, so those lead referral type of programs, mixers, speed networking, those types of things really help generate business for the, for the businesses and leads. But we also create promotions so that things are driven to them through promotions. Next year we're going to be launching a program called Eat, Shop, Play West Hollywood, which is all for local shopping uh, program, shop local, spend local. Um, it'll give residents sort of a VIP treatment of different incentives and deals at different local businesses, as well as outside visitors to come and shop, dine, and play in West Hollywood. Um, so that's very exciting for us. And then we also have business-to-business -business opportunities <clears throat> for those um, businesses and services that just promote to businesses. Uh, we'll be launching WeHo Marketplace, which is a small business expo in April. Um, and then we also do the job fair every year uh, of, to help economic growth and job market. Uh, we have a lot of programs. We do about 190 programs and events a year. We do a lot with small businesses in getting started, how to open a business here in West Hollywood, what they need to do to go to planning, what kind of fee structures they're looking at when they open. We want to make sure that they understand when they open a business here what's entailed so that they have the full understanding so that they know who to go to and we give them the resources to do that. And we have a lot of resources online uh, and also through our programs like our small business seminars which we have one a month and it's always a different program. It might be about employment law, it might be about how to write a business plan, it might be about how to market your business or social media. So we have a lot of the small business seminars that help to educate uh, our small business community about, about business and how to operate. And then also just giving them the resources to go to, whether it's the Small Business Association Group or the City of West Hollywood in terms of going to planning or economic development. Um, we also worked with economic development on a program that helped businesses understand how to procure government contracts if they want that business. Um, so, you know, how to respond to an RFP if they get that, that, which is a request for proposal. And so there's a lot we do with small business to help them as well as, like I talked about, the Small Business Expo coming up. This will be a way for small businesses to 
showcase their product and services uh, to different businesses and uh, consumers as well. Hello everybody and welcome back to Trending. I'm Tracy Savage, your host, and with the new year just getting underway, we're talking about shopping. Yes, shopping and buying and selling and keeping the West Hollywood economy alive. It's a new year with new opportunities? We sure hope so. And joining me now on Trending is Ryan Farber, the Executive Director of the Avenues Business Improvement District, and Brad Burlingame, who is the CEO of Visit West Hollywood. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. Great to be here. So, a real tough question. I want to ask you both. Why do you love West Hollywood as a place to do business? It is one of the most unique cities in all of the Southern California. We have it all here. We have amazing shopping, we have amazing dining, we have uh, unbelievable art, and it's just a, an area where people uh, tend to uh, come to because it's also in the center of everything. So we really, uh, we have we have it all, we do. And what about you, Brad, what do you think? Well, there's always something new here. Uh, Brian was touching on something that, that we focus on strategically that like to, to, to pay, people pay attention to the fact that this is, we consider this the heart of LA, yeah. geographically and in terms of the energy of what's happening. 
there's a phrase we also uh, developed a few years back saying this is not a place where we follow trends, we set trends. Nice. So, uh, and that happens all the time, whether it's in food, music, fashion, you name it. It's, that's West Hollywood. And is that why West Hollywood can thrive when other communities can't because you are setting trends? Well, I think as a business community, we have to be out in front all the way, all the time. It's not something that's just comes to you and you can sit back and expect it to happen. It's very competitive out there. And this great Los Angeles community we live in, there's a lot of attractive things for people to come here and experience and even locals too. But so West Hollywood has always been finding these new things that, for people to come and experience. Well, Ryan Farber, tell me about the Avenues Business District. What makes the Avenues special and truly unique? I have a really fun job. <laughs> you do. Yeah. The, uh, the Avenues is an area that uh, basically is home to art, fashion, design, uh, spas, beauty, and dining all in one area mm -hmm. and, and really, really amazing brands. That's what's really great about where, what I do. I, I represent um, all of these businesses doing marketing and PR and also doing e producing events to bring awareness to this district. And uh, we have lots of new businesses that are always, uh, it, that businesses that are coming in and we have exciting uh, art galleries and we have, uh, like for instance, Rag and Bone is a new fashion house that just came in. And uh, Tommy Hilfiger is opening their flagship store the first on the West Coast new flagship store in the avenues. And we have lots of businesses like this that are, are basically popping up on a regular basis and I get to interact with them on a regular basis. You are it's very lucky indeed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> How do you keep it from getting spoiled? How do you keep it, I won't say pristine, but the uh, attraction that it is? Well, I don't think that uh, I don't think that it's spoiled. I think that what what we have is a unique blend of all these different types of businesses. So they also interact with each other. And what we've what we've tried to do is is create a community. So the art galleries will interact with the fashion houses mm -hmm. and the design studios will interact with the fashion and the art and the food all together. And we've done events that actually bring them all together as well. So that keeps it interesting. So we're in 2013. It has been a tough few years. West Hollywood has managed, though, to stay alive. What are the plans for 2013? What can we see in the avenues for the next year, this year? We are, uh, for the first time, working on uh, making our brand a more recognized brand, not only nationally, but internationally. Wow. And so we've retained a, uh, a PR company that will hopefully uh, do that for us or work with us to do that. Along with the different brands that we have together as a community, we really want it to be more of a, uh, a recognized word, well, the words, the avenues. So we really want people to know where the avenues is so they can come and shop and, and do everything that they want to do in one place, art, fashion, and design. And, and by keeping it specific like that, it's easy to market. It's e people know what you're talking about when you say mm -hmm. that. We try to make um, the, the avenues a, um, uh, a place where people can just come and do everything they need to do in one place. So tell me what are the avenues? What are we talking about specifically? So the avenue, the area, yeah. the, so from Santa Monica Boulevard down to Beverly, right. from La Cienega over to Doheny, sure. about 250 businesses within mm. the district. Yeah. So uh, again, we have just the, an amazing variety and so that's why we're really fortunate. It's not that difficult to market the area. I bet. Yeah. Well, speaking of marketing, let's talk to Brad Burlingame here. Visit West Hollywood, it's your job to convince people to come to West Hollywood, is it really that hard? <laughs> well, as I said, it's very competitive. Yes. But we are very fortunate to have the community we have in West Hollywood. And you asked a really good question earlier, Tracy, about why this is special. And I think it's a combination of businesses and their owners and managers who care along with the residents who live here. Uh, that is a really powerful combination in terms of the energy that people feel when they come here. But it, it is competitive, and our focus is very external, trying to bring people from all over the world, really. New York is one of our most important feeder markets. Uh, we're very focused on the entertainment industries of music, film, and television. But we want them to come here and stay here because it's a vital part of the West Hollywood community. It really impacts our economy here locally. In our most recent studies, the people who come from out of town and even day visitors coming into annually drive an economy of over three quarters of a billion dollars in this small town of only 1.9 square miles. So it's not only vital for them to spend the money, it enables the city to create programs 
that we all embrace, whether it's social values and social programs. So it's really important that the business community participate with this with the city in that way. I mean, we know that the residents who live here are very loyal and they stay here. But yes, you have to get people from the surrounding communities to come in if you really want to go that to the next level. Correct. So what are the selling points? What do you do to get people to come here? Well, you've been talking to my friends like Ryan and others uh, in, the, in the show today. Uh, you know, the Sunset Strip is iconic. People yeah. recognize it. it goes back for decades. Yeah the avenues which Ryan represents, but also Santa Monica Boulevard, which we all consider our main street, even yeah. though those other areas are really, Huge. really wonderful. Yeah. Uh, it's former Route 66, but it's the heart and soul of the LGBT community in West Hollywood, which is not just here in West Hollywood, it represents an important destination for the LGBT community nationwide and even internationally. So there's, there's a lot of parts and pieces that contribute to this really, uh, really diverse experience for people to come here. So what are you planning for 2013? What direction are you taking your uh, marketing of the city of West Hollywood? In? Well, we're always focused on the hotels. We want yeah. people to stay in those hotels because when they come in here, they also go and spend money in the restaurants and shop in the stores and go down the avenues and so forth. Uh, so we're doing things uh, surrounding the hotels, and we have a program that's kicking off actually this month in January where if somebody goes to visitwesthollywood.com, they can participate, even a local, and participate in a contest where they can have a weekend getaway because nice. we even like the locals to check into our right. hotels and, then, and spend money and have a good sure. time and, and treat themselves. So yeah. uh, the time of giving is over now. Now treat yourself and go stay in a West Hollywood hotel. <laughs> so it's 2013. Yeah. Um, wonderful opportunities out there for uh, businesses and the residents. Are you feeling optimistic, both of you? <laughs> I am. 2012, I'll, I have, will have not seen the final numbers yeah. for a while, but I think we'll have had our best year ever, uh, despite wow. the economy. There's challenges Headline out there, right there. too. <laughs> yeah, they, there, there's still challenges and there's inconsistencies yeah. in the marketplace, but uh, I'll go on record as saying I think we'll have our best year re ever when we see the final numbers for 2012. That's exciting, and mm -hmm. you can only go up from there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You hope? Well, we think so. We're, yeah. we're projecting increases again for this yeah, year, that's, 2013. That's exciting. And yeah. Ryan, with this international marketing attempt, um, that can only help the city. Absolutely. Uh, it, for us, we, we are an extension of the 1.9 square miles that is West Hollywood. And it's for us, the, the, the main shopping area, what we consider it the main shopping area, is, is definitely something that will help everybody in the city. The hotels, we, want, we work with Brad very closely. And, uh, and we want more people to come shop, but also stay and, and just be in the city of West Hollywood. What's nice about the city is that it goes out of its way to make people feel comfortable, to make sure there's parking. Of, you know, nothing's worse than trying to go into a store and you can't park or it's difficult. Um, West Hollywood really does bend over backwards to make people want to come and stay. Absolutely, and we for the parking issue, for instance, it's that's huge. it's definitely huge in an area yeah. that's it's very compact, yes. yeah. and we have a lot of meters that people yeah. want to park in. But yeah. we also have the new library right. that uh, that Jeff mentioned earlier. Uh, people will park there, and they can they can walk around, uh, they can walk around the the the, uh, the district and not have to worry about meters and yep. tickets. Well, Brad Ryan, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope uh, 2013 is. Even better than 2000. Mark my words. I okay. Will. <laughs> very you. good. Well, thank you for joining me on Trending Today. Thanks, Tracy. Okay, you're very welcome. And that is Trending for today. If you have a comment or if you'd like more information or if you have an idea for a trending topic, just leave a message at WeHo TV on Facebook or Twitter. You can also email WeHo TV at WeHo.org and put hashtag trending in the subject line and we'll get right back to you. I'm Tracy Savage, and thank you for joining us on Trending.